欢迎收睇美国专讯。咁数字货币需要大量嘅电力嚟到开采。我哋嘅記者費多最近去到美國紐約尼亞加拉大瀑布咁採訪咗一個希望可以利用可持續嘅方式去開採比特幣嘅團隊。Blockfusion is a blockchain infrastructure company that、uh, uses renewable energy. So this is our facility here in Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, we're converting this facility from what was an industrial building to、uh, a data center to mine Bitcoin. At the time, this factory was being used to actually strip down for scrap metal.、Uh, prior to that, this was actually a power generation plant where they were using coal and fossil fuels to generate,、uh, unfortunately, dirty power at the time. At the facility, we actually、uh, mine Bitcoin. So traditionally, people would think about mining Bitcoin or you know, like mining a resource, right? Very expensive equipment. Guys with hard hats underneath the earth trying to get resources. In this particular case,、uh, we're mining Bitcoin, and while there, we are leveraging a、uh, expensive hardware to to do so. The the resource is、uh, really about how quickly you can actually solve a particular algorithm, a mathematic equation on the blockchain to be able to go and obtain one bitcoin. So I'm going to show you、uh, the miners themselves. These are not individuals mining. You'll see the actual computers themselves. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was each each one of these computers do not work individually. They actually work together. They pool together the resources and the processing power, like a supercomputer, to be able to do the algorithms to actually be able to mine one bitcoin. The total miners that we have here at the facility is about 2,600. We actually anticipate that by the time we build out the entire facility, we'll be somewhere between. 12,500 to 15,000、uh, units. This facility here in Niagara Falls, we are five miles away from the Robert Moses Hydro Plant. Absolutely critical for us when we chose this location. That if we were going to consume energy, we wanted to make sure that it was renewable. So as we're looking at、uh, building this facility out into a data center, that was a critical factor in our decision making. We're in an ideal location to actually have、uh, most, if not all, of our energy being supplied from that particular plant. We're enrolled in what's called demand response. So that's where, if the grid themselves require more power back, we'll actually shut down our operations or curtail it back to actually provide that power back to the local community as as required. If we think about blockchain and this particular industry, this is the industry of the future. 美國每年有大約四成嘅食物被丟棄，咁一間公司正在研發幫助減少廚房食物浪費嘅技術。咁下邊嘅記者塔博嘅報導。根據自然資源保護委員會嘅數據，美國生產嘅食物當中有多達百分之四十未被食用，其中大部分最後進入垃圾堆填區，喺當地釋放大量甲烷。为咗帮助解决呢个全球性问题，一间荷兰公司开发咗一种食物浪费监测系统。呢、这个系统使用人工智能帮助餐厅厨师识别同测量厨房当中丢弃嘅食物量。We outfit the waste bin with a weighing scale underneath and a camera unit on top, and every time something is disposed of, we take a picture and I, our AI image recognition algorithms r e c o g n i z e the type of food that's been thrown away. 数据会立即收集，并且喺电脑屏幕上共享。幫助廚師發現任何反覆出現嘅問題。Say you waste 10 kilos of tomatoes every Tuesday morning. That's what we'll tell you. Say your salad buffet doesn't work very well on Fridays because people are more craving for comfort foods, and thus you throw away a lot of it. This is the tool that the chef can now gain efficiency, reduce waste, improve productivity, and increase profitability. Croissant. There's not a chef in the world that likes to cook for the waste bin. So what their technology is able to do. From a restauranter's point of view, is really allow them through artificial intelligence to predict and to make the right amount of food. 餐馆唔需要购买机器，但每个月为机器收集同共享嘅信息支付订阅费。
。呢间公司话，自从二零一九年推出以嚟，呢项服务已经帮助欧洲大约一百间餐厅减少食物浪费同节省金钱。We saved about two to three hundred thousand kilos to date, and that has a value of about one point two to one point eight million dollars. 呢间公司计划扩展到美国市场，并且希望有朝一日能够完全消除工业厨房嘅食物浪费。记者塔博报道，多谢收睇美国专讯，下次嘅节目时间再见。